Hey everyone, this is the AS Club, my YouTube channel. Now this is like the third time of trying to record this. Hoping it works, like it's been annoying to record. Right, I'm going to start with explaining. This is going to be a bit of a jumbled video, lots of different things happening. Um, so just keep up to date uh, throughout the video. It's not going to be majorly long, but it's not going to be majorly short. Um, story short, I'm going to move my room around again. I know you've seen this so many times in my channel, you probably have no idea what my room looks like now anyway. Uh, I mean, you probably do have a thing if you're keeping up to date, but it's just, hang on, you're slightly wonky. There we go. So I just adjusted the angle. Pepper's playing up being loud. Um, my phone reset a minute ago for no reason. Stopped recording at some point, so I'm just going to go again. Um, I've bought a few things. I've had my student loan. Uh, so I want to unbox those and put them into position. But I'm going to show you the first item and explain a bit about it um, but I can't unbox that until after I've moved everything because of it if that makes sense you, you know what I mean so two seconds so this is my 28 inch Samsung 4k uh, QLED monitor in ultra high definition you can see on the top of it there if you can even see that or read that it says UH750 uh, UHD 3840 by 2160 uh, quantum dot uh, screen with one millisecond response time AMD FreeSync and picture by picture so I did that without showing you my address correctly there we go we can put that down so that is the main purchase of this if you can hit the box is very tappy it's huge guys it is massive so I can't put it in I don't want to break it it's very expensive so I'm gonna have to unbox it after I've moved my room around, but I needed to show you that. Um, what I'm unboxing now needs to be unboxed while I've got room to unbox. Like, sit down and talk to you guys and feel comfortable, you know, in a space because it's going to be a bit iffy in a few minutes' time once I've uh, moved my room around as best I can. So, I got through recording it and I already undid the thing. I actually haven't looked inside, so I don't know if what I think is in here is in here, but I need to unbox this now so it's ready to be put, like used, whilst I move everything around before I put everything together, like my TV and whatnot. So this is why we're doing it this way, I'm going to have to unbox it, put it, put everything to one side, move everything around, put it all in, and then show you guys and do a bit of a room tour if it were. Many of you guys have asked for a house tour, I think one or two of you have asked for a house tour. That will be coming now that downstairs is complete. Um, another thing I forgot to mention after re-recording these videos. Um, them couple of videos that I mentioned in the KFC video. I'm sure you've all have watched it because that video is banged apparently. Um, I haven't been able to get any of those done as of yet. They're still up here. I still know exactly what I'm doing. They are going to be done. Um, I think I mentioned it to Andrew Smith that I just haven't had time to do it. But they will be getting done. Um throughout this week. Today is Tuesday night. As you can see it's getting darker. It's about, I don't know, about almost eight o'clock ready for Champions League, so I want to sort of get things done. Um Yeah, today's Tuesday. Wednesday's my mum's birthday. We're not doing anything in the daytime, I don't think. So I just want to be able to chill out throughout the day, give her some peace and quiet instead of having to keep doing all of this malarkey on her birthday. But we're going out for a meal in the afternoon. So it needs to all be done ready for you know, tomorrow. Thursday I'm at uni, like uh, the morning, and then I'm back in the afternoon. And then Friday I'm off, then Saturday football, so, you know, I've got a busy week and then I start uni on Monday. So I want to sort of get all this done ready for tomorrow where I can record and potentially Thursday afternoon, Friday. I also want to play Tomb Raider because I haven't played that since I've got it. So much I want to get done this week. But yes, this will help me a lot ready for FIFA. If you guys sort of get the gist of what I've bought, both are in here luckily so we're going to get the first thing out which is not as important but important nonetheless you know I got a Echo Dot it's sat up on my desk currently I bought a cover for it so if I can remove the plastic I bought a fabric case now there we go I did it without looking it take it out of the plastic you go 
cards into a these things. Yeah, I've sort of got midway through explaining what I was on about anyway. So while I tap on this, to make some good sounds, it's basically on Sunday when I wanted to record all the videos, we spent all night making sure that your front room was tidy, everything was up here in my room perfectly, there was only one thing which was the sofa left in the front room. Monday we spent all day, well yesterday, um, you know the carpet was fitted in between sort of like you know, I think 9 o'clock and 1 or 2 o'clock with the laminate all put down in the hallway and everything and so we spent all afternoon building things that we didn't stop until about quarter past 12 last night and then I had to wake up and go to work. I've been knackered all day. Luckily Becky said we didn't have to go roller world tonight. So I've been able to record this and tidy my room up and get everything sorted. So yeah, that's why I couldn't record any videos because I was just so busy and swamped with things that we had to get done. But the house tour now, it's all finished and downstairs is nicely sort of furnished. There is a bit that's a bit iffy for a house tour if it were um, but you know it's it's got a good explanation so that will be coming in the next week or two depending on whether basically what I was trying to say was we've got a, we've painted up to the start of the stairs ready for the stairs and everything to be painted white we only got up to the stairs because we didn't have because obviously the carpet laid down we didn't really want to do overly we can't do it all up here whilst you know the carpet was being put down and whatnot we only did it this week and this weekend so that will get done in the next week or two probably if they've got some time off to finish painting but anyway getting into this i want to see what it looks like opening Put that on we can then unclip i mean it's nothing exciting but for me Now this is a really crinkly plastic. That might be a bit loud. I don't know the bin up here. Take that all down for now. All my rubbish. In fact, this is all down in this box. I've taken that out now. So I've got inside this box. To my left. Your right, probably. Let's check you're still recording because knowing me it stopped. No, you're still recording, that's a good sign. Now as you can probably see, let me try and Well it turns out the camera is really struggling to pick colours up because it is getting dark and the light's not brilliant. But this is a really light sort of fabric -y blue, you might see it tomorrow depending on when I finish this video. Alright Luke, if you remember, just put a, either a picture or a clip or I don't know, something in that helps. You can see this colour in its beauty. It is very nice. It's like a rich sort of royal blue. It's in fabric. But it's got like a, it's like plastic covered in fabric. So it's a nice hard shell. on my Alexa which is perfect this is what I wanted and um, it looks very nice it's, uh, it's got anti-drip Alexa stop you sound like a perfect by Ed Sheeran um, <laughs> God knows how you picked that up but yeah um, this will be going on my Alexa in a few seconds time I'm just going to put this one side next we have something that I was right it was I was debating whether to get one of two things because I don't want to spend all my money I could afford both I just need to save a bit of money up until Christmas you know with shifts being a bit on and off at work and you know things might cost some stuff when I get back to uni anyway so I need to save a little bit of money um, I was either going to get an SSD or a capture card now my mum said she'd treat me to one uh, come Christmas anyway so either way so I decided that it's not a necessity at the minute for me to get a SSD I can get that at Christmas to improve my response time on my computer you know to in increase the storage just by a little bit um, you know because I want to boot from Windows and get a few games uh, onto my SSD and so I mean I want one I do want one because I will use it and it will it will benefit the PC 
Oh, because FIFA comes out at the end of this one, I went and got the Elgato. Now, if you guys have seen my channel, maybe, when was it? Might have been about three months ago, three, four months ago. No, probably about April time, actually. Was it April? May, February, March, April, May. Yeah, sort of April, May time, I got the HD60, which was the one that didn't go inside your PC. Uh, and because I got it for my laptop, because I didn't have my PC at the time. Now, I it wouldn't sort of render, it wouldn't set, the settings wouldn't work properly, so I got really infuriated with it, and I sent it back. Turns out I didn't fiddle with the settings enough and set the um, frame rate perfectly, and that's why it was really laggy, because this was just, I, I was just telling this to have like a low frame rate, so it only pick up a picture every so often, where in fact my laptop and my PC can both handle high frame rates, so it should have. I should have set it to the fact that it can handle the high frame rates and it would have worked, if that makes sense. And so, I've decided to spend a little bit extra um, and just get the one that plugs into your computer so it's out of the way. All the cables are just uh, straight into my uh, PC now and I will be doing a FIFA Ultimate Team and or career mode uh, sort of ASMR series on my channel because i know you guys like the fifa streams i know you guys want to interact i'm, I'm able to stream off this uh, if you can see it says 1080p uh, 60 frames per second capture uh, i could have got the 4k one far too expensive it was just as much as my screen so maybe in the future i might upgrade um it does 60 megabytes per second uh, max bit rate that's just that's fine by me um, it's got a H.264 encoder and instant game view, which is what I like. I'm going to unbox it first just so you can see the box a bit better. Maybe I'm sat under the light a little bit badly. Maybe you need to stop seeing my face and actually see the box. So I'm just going to adjust the camera. Right, I'm now behind the camera. Um, I'm sat and stood really awkwardly. I, you probably can't get a reflection of me in this. Might be able to do that side. Anyway, I'm stood like right behind the camera. So I might kneel over it instead. But then I've got a shadow. I might just come to one of these sides. Anyway, I'm going to unbox it. Hopefully get things sorted. My arm is currently through one of the legs. It is a bit awkward with this tripod. I apologise for that bump. I'm just going to unbox it ever so quickly, to be honest. I'm not going to mess around with anything because I need to get things done. I've already been going for 13 minutes. Uh, and there's still a, quite a bit of this video left to show you guys. I might save the room tour and just do a room tour and house tour video. Might just add a final setup photo slash look. So, getting this off. It's more like a cellophane y sort of material. Let's go. I never get how people can have like down on views of things like this without seeing my legs maybe it's just a different angle or something i don't know anyway so on the side you've got what is in the box if you can see that it says game capture hd pro now high and low profile bracket and the hdmi cable that i need on the other side it just says game capture hd 60 pro uh, at the top sorry and on the bottom elgato now on the back is where all the details occur now sorry for the glare i'm going to try and angle it so you don't see much of it it says instant game view, stream with superior low latency technology. And it's also in French, I think. In the middle, 1080p 60fps. And on the right, built in editor, immediate access and sharing. So that's okay. Flashback recording, which is pretty cool. Live commentary, add your voice. Uh, sorry, that says record retroactively. I don't like my hand being inside this bit. Um, this bit just says HDMI in out. It just gives you, you know, just the basic rundowns and it's got a PCIe. Uh, X1. I'm I'm pretty certain I can put this in my computer. I mean, I definitely got slots that fit that, so I'd assume I can. And, you know, it's an Asus motherboard. It's it's a proper gaming motherboard, so I assume I can. I'm just going to quickly unbox it properly. Move that to one side. Um, where's the bottle? It opens that way. So apologies for me bumping the thing. Open it up. It's got oh, it's got like a little metal thing like a, it's got your obvious um what did they call it i can't remember what it's called it's 
inside the box. Bracket, that's what it calls your profile bracket to screw into your uh, PC case. That goes there. I'm just going to pop it back in for now. Uh, you've got the actual capture card itself. It's very fiddly to get in this box. And I really don't want to bump the thing too much. Oh god, that's just. There's your HDMI cable in the bottom. Probably some setup instructions. Just the basics. This is really, really doing well in there. I don't want to break it, nor do I want to do it any damage. I don't get what it's stuck on and why it won't come out. Yeah. So, obviously, there's all the information. It's in a proper um, shaded bag, if you can tell, um, with the in and the out, so that way. So, that will just get put into my PC in a few like moments' time once I've sorted my room out. Let's unclick that and see what that actually is. It's like a little, like a little plaque. There we go. Oh, it's like a electronic plaque that I can put onto my PC. I quite like that actually. You know, it's nice and shiny. Um, yeah, I might pop that into my PC. I'm not too sure yet. Let's go like that. Pop that back in, and then just sort of set this to the side for now. I'll fiddle that out anyway. So I'll see you again in a few moments time. Once I, you'll probably, the next thing you'll see is probably me unboxing my telly once my room has moved around a little bit. So let me just try and slot that back. There we go, that's how you do it. You can't see most of this because my camera work, I do apologise, is very shoddy. So there's my capture card. I've got, maybe you can see this a bit better anyway. There you go. It's sort of the same colour as that actually. It's not far off. It's a bit brighter than what it appears, but it's quite got, it's got like a sparkly fabric effect. I really like it, and it will fit on my Alexa. So, yeah, see you guys in a few seconds. Hey guys, so I'm back with this screen. As you can probably see, my desk's here now. I'm not sure how much of it you can see. All that's there. Can you see that? No, you can't see that. But desk's now in place. I haven't got anything set up. I've still got wires and crap all over my bed. Time to unbox this. Um, I have installed my Elgato inside. I am going to have to plug everything in first to see whether it worked and whether I did it correctly. If not, I, I'm, I'm going to have to cut it, op cut it open because I'm cutting this open. I'm going to have to open it up and see if everything went to plan. Now, let's see if I can sit down and open this. I'm really terrible at this, guys. I do apologise. I just hope that me keeping you updated on everything and whatnot is a major tingles alert for you now this could be upside down but I don't think it matters all that much because I'm going to be pulling out a box anyway I'll quieten that bit down for a second we've got some polystyrene really staticized polystyrene as well stand on end. Move that to one side for now. So I'm stood up, I'm going to properly lift this out of the box. Cheese and everything else should be underneath that. But if you can see, I'm just going to rest it inside the box for now. And show you. I'm going to open that up. You guys don't need to really see the stand, nor do you need to see you know anything else that relates to the stand all you need to see is the screen and I'll show you it once it's set up right there we go you can probably just about see that if I'm lucky enough and um, it is huge it's relatively heavy but my desk should be able to handle it um, very nicely indeed that wasn't my phone that was dying so I'm going to quickly pop it relatively back into the box, just like that, and then slide the box to the side while I finish off creating it. So you see you guys in a few seconds time. Right guys, so I've completed my room. Everything's set up. Sorry it's a bit jumbled on me unboxing the actual screen. Putting together the, putting together the screen was a little bit more difficult than what I thought it would be. There was lots of wires involved and fiddling wires through sort of like a back panel. 
so I just did that on my desk so there isn't that many unboxing parts to the video but I'm just going to give you a quick quick room tour now just coming through the door on the left hand side this all remains the same but the floor's a lot well I said the floor's a lot more clear that's my laptop charger and my headphones empty bottle of gin that we're going to put lights in and just do like a sort of like a light display this is going to look pretty nice uh, just Harry Potter and you know my shelving sort of cubes my bed remained exactly the same if you guys haven't seen already I can't remember whether you should have seen it by now or not my auntie crocheted me a very nice um, the um, what's it called is it the crazy chicken funky chicken something like that and that looks absolutely it on camera it actually looks really cool and snazzy anyway so this is where you're gonna see the start of my setup if we head just down here that's my wash basket and it's the dirty top it's the next day now hence why it's bright um, that is my old keyboard that I no longer use I'm probably gonna give it to my dad dad if you're watching if you want it let me know um, I've probably already asked you by now anyway underneath that is actually a um, what do you call it like a steering wheel and pedals that go into your PlayStation it's originally for PS3 so we were gonna get rid of it but if it works with PS4, we might as well keep it, and I can just sort of store it under there. Then obviously I've got my old chair. I've got my laptop, a drink, microphone, you know, candle holder, a little dump basket, and then some... I like how I've got a bloody thing there. Anyway, so obviously my chair, and the Lion, obviously the X-Rocker, big chair. But I'll tell you what, I might turn this on first. I might show the other part of my room and then come back to this just so you can see it in all its glory. And I actually need to put this screen back in. Give me two seconds, guys. There you go, I'm going to go like this. Plug that in, hopefully, to there. You can see that. There we go. So, I've plugged it in. So, la la la. Coming from the door, left side, I've got box full of absolute crap that I no longer use or need bit of a storage area I couldn't figure out what I wanted to put there if I'm being totally honest nothing really fit and so I decided you know what I can just have it you know for my bags the foam I can just pile things it's going to be like my pile corner and then it's still out of the way if that makes sense and then you come onto these drawers so these drawers are just the same as usual you know you've got all my deodorants and my candles things that smell nice and make me me smell nice uh, got teddy bear that I got for my birthday can't have that on for too long, copyright, and it's pretty loud anyway. Um, I've got in here, we found a load of PC games downstairs, all sort of in bits and just random crap. So that's all now gone in there, as well as kids' films that we no longer use. So we've got, you know, all these games that I can put on my computer at some point. Um, next is all of my sort of bits and bobs. So all my PlayStation games, the Harry Potter collection, uh, my Sidemen book and all the other books, uh, the chess dress and backgammon board, um, a spare HDMI cable, that actually needs to go in here now that I've brought this upstairs, this was downstairs originally when I was sorting my room out. And as you go down you've got different pairs of shoes and boots, there Becky's boots, uh, my shoes are behind it, a few shoes behind that, and that is also a HDMI cable that needs to go inside this. I've actually got a really snuffly nose, it's like first thing in the morning. It's probably like 20 to 9 in the morning. I've just taken my brother to college. Well, I've dropped him off at a bus stop near college. So we can get the rest of the way on bus and meet up with his friends. Um, just down here, just the random crappy junk stuff. Not really crappy junk stuff, but stuff that I didn't really know where to put and I had a space for it. Then in there is a bag full of Becky's clothes slash stuff. I don't think she knows it's here. And then my roller skates. So let's go across. We've got that. That's not mine. It is a box full of like a PS4 and a dance mat. And just some other things that you can use and so that that doesn't belong in this house at all and so it's going back to its right flow now when he moves into his new house that's why we've got it anyway balloons from my 21st i'm keeping them for becky because she wants me to keep them all my posters and telly but we have a full length mirror hey guys i'm really really stuffy. you can probably see it and i need a shower because my hair is greasy af I can do this and say hello to you guys now. No, I can do that. There we go. I did it about right, but look, a proper, proper full length 
human mirror and that's the outfit of the day it's really not i've just threw this on sarah brothers college got my black cross ashes on blue jeggings jeggings i'm not a woman uh blue joggers uh and then just my red burgundy um what was it then um, panama city i thought that was a d my red panama city top on you can't quite see that anyway so oh god no what's happened bear with let me all gone. I want you to see this in all its glory because it is absolutely beautiful. That's why it isn't working because I haven't turned it on. I forget you have to turn the screen on now. Look at that. It is so snazzy. It's very nice. Although I don't think the camera's really picking it up as well as I hoped it was. So let us sit down. My cable management is actually a lot better than I thought it would be as well. There's just a few cables running on the back underneath there. So you've got, obviously, my first um, 1080p screen, second 1080p screen, and then my big 4K monitor. It is a lot bigger than my old ones, and it stands up a little bit higher. But I actually like it like that. I think it makes it... I think the aesthetic's very nice. And just, obviously, hopefully now... Oh, God. Alexa doesn't come out more than that because of how I've got the wires set up. Stop. Yeah, because it heard its name. Um, obviously, my keyboard working in all of its colours is absolutely amazing. I need to plug this in and I need to get. Oh, where is it? It's there. I need to get this put back on my desk. It's going to probably go um, there behind that. That laptop's not going to be there for much longer because I need to put it in my bag and get everything sorted um, ready for uni on Thursday I really needed that drink oh man I'm so thirsty um, I found my tripod about half a second after I'd ordered a new one so I've got another one and it is arriving today already so I can't cancel it anymore so it will be here pretty soon. There's my candle snuffer to put my candles out. And in fact, I'm going to light a candle for you guys. Ready? It is, I think, I can't remember what this one's called. And I probably shouldn't do that with the plastic so close. Uh, I don't think of that. But it actually smells really, really nice. I need to plug my microphone in. That's going to be wired back to the... It's going to hopefully sit back on a single pin so you can hear me when I'm playing my games. Um, yeah, so I still need to record all them videos that I've been on about. I know I've been on about them for a while now. Um, obviously, I've got my tripod there that I can record a few videos on. In fact, I'm going to turn you back around again. Um, so, yeah, other than that, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do today. I'm probably going to sit and play Tomb Raider, if I'm being totally honest. I just need a day where I can chill out, zone out. We'll go out for dinner later. If I, if I decide to record any videos like Jumpers for Gold Posts or... I don't know, the... The two, I might record the uni video because I go back to uni tomorrow and it might be a good idea just to sit down and chat with you guys with a packet of Haribo. In fact, I might do that now and then play Tomb Raider, so I expect that one pretty soon. Um, that's just going to be a full on, I'm just going to talk to you guys about my perspective on university, the first year of uni and stuff like that. In fact, I'm going to edit the video, I'm going to edit this video that I'm doing right now um, first clip it all together while that's rendering record this video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this i hope it's given you another insight into my room and how i'm going to be living my life and what i'm going to be doing for the next sort of year or so i probably will keep it like this for a while because that's actually a lot better than i thought it'd be the thing with me that i like is sort of things fitting and feeling like it's in the right place if you know what i mean so with my bed and my wardrobe over there and my drawers, you can see it fits pretty perfectly with my drawers right next to my bed. Uh, wait, there we are. My drawers fit right up against the edge of my bed and then I've put a plug on to the side of it just to help um, when I'm sleeping, I can plug all my things in. And that fit perfectly up to the ceiling with a little bit of a gap so I can put all my spare teddy bears and um, drawers. I've still got them two photos up there. No photos what Becky printed out. And there were, I was going to do a whole wall full, but we've sort of forgot to buy more photos. 
obviously loads of stuff. Oh, Shannon probably won't be watching this. I've just burnt my arm on candle. But I think you've already seen this. But it's amazing. Shout out to Shannon for that. In fact, I can go back on my desk once I've moved my laptop. I need to sort of charge my laptop on my bed now that I've actually made my bed. I only just made it before this video. I'm not going to lie, guys. But yeah, so, oh god, look at that. Wait, I wonder if. That's huge. Why is that so big? Because it was originally on my 4K screen. Right, okay. So, I might even do one in 4K. I might record the, the uni video in 4K for you guys, just so you can see it very nicely. I don't get what's happened to this. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting really sidetracked again. So yeah, I'll see you later guys. Uh, expect a new video soon. I'm just going to be completely chilled out. It's going to be recorded straight after this. I might go for a shower. I need to attach my thing. I need to plug my laptop in. Just a few things before I do record the video. Plug my hard drive in. You know, proper get settled down. And just completely chill out with you guys. And just have a normal, ordinary chat. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.